everyone, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Patricia Yao from the Royal Malaysian Air Force. First and foremost, please allow me to thank the TEDx and the staff for giving me this honour to share my experience as a fighter pilot from a women's perspective. After spending 24 years in the RMAF, studying, grueling with military training, both on ground and in the air, I have some awesome experience to share. It's never easy, but surely an enjoyable and memorable journey. I always believe success together with happiness is a choice. And the choice is in your mind. Success may influence but does not determine happiness. Hence, it is the mind over success and happiness. I wish to cover these two major cruxes of success and happiness solely based on my perception during my interval. Our life can be divided into different phases. Well, as for myself, it will be the years of training and progressing through my career path, which I chose and kept going until to date. Every May, may seem to be a new chapter and a new beginning. But it never ends. Whatsoever is your choices are, we must embrace it with a correct mental state and determination. That is the mind power, regardless of the outcome. Let me cover in brief my life of training as a fighter pilot in the Royal Malaysian Air Force. I started as an Air Force cadet and after graduating, I had to undergo a flying training and operations for almost 10 years before becoming a qualified instructor for almost 6 years. And currently, I'm at the Air Force Training Command to oversee all the basic training. How do I see success? For me, success is in the mindset of determination and discipline. I remember during my basic flying training in the year of 2000, at the end of our flying course, only a handful of us with high performing students were selected to perform in an aerobatic competition. We were to fly a series of maneuvers which demands physical and mental strength in front of the judges and in front of all the audience on ground to determine who is the best among the best. During the preparation for the competition, all the practices is with my personal instructors by the name of Semco, which consisted of more than 15 challenging maneuvers. That's always required strong determination and high state of discipline. It was during these practices I came to realize through my personal instructors and his encouragement to go beyond my capabilities because he was very impressed with my will power. From that day onwards, I'm convinced to set my mind towards determination and discipline. And this has produced results, which I can only categorize as success. Hence, success is the mindset of determination and discipline. It may sound easy, but it takes a lot of dedication and perseverance. It didn't stop there. The continuity of determination and discipline went on from the earliest part of my training until today. In the very essence of what we do to uphold the competency as a fighter pilot. In the RMF, which one of our sole mission is to defend the sovereignty of our airspace of Malaysia. What? In the TED Talks, I do share with you what is our day-to-day -day job. The next one is discipline. Discipline to us is like a cement glue to us. Right? Some says, Without it, Air Force is like a mob. So flimsy. So I feel blessed to be performing in the air display for the Smokey Bandit, which 
Well, I'm wearing this helmet for the Smoky Bandit Aerobatic Team in the MiG-29. It requires high degree of discipline. Every move you make in between of the aircraft is like a split second. It needs to be precise and concise to the seconds of it. Equipped with the same mindset for determination and discipline, I progressed into leading a total of a bigger formation which consists of 21 aircraft formations for the National Day celebrations. It is only with determination and discipline have I learned from all my formation members that we are able to achieve whatever we have set for to achieve for the commandant's intent to contribute to the service, RMF, and for our country and to the world. The fighter pilot's training is not limited only to the air, but on ground and on surface as well, which comprises of all the essential training, such as gravitational pull when handling a jet, be it an ejection procedure when you have to come up from an emergency, you need to punch out from the aircraft. During that time, you have to know how to survive and the event of the behind the enemy line scenario. When you're out from the aircraft, you're on the high risk territory, you have to survive behind the enemy line and when and where necessary. In these exercises, we keep telling and remind ourselves the mission objective at all times and the mind will does it magic. Now, then how do I see happiness in what we are doing now? I think a smile is the answer. A mental state where we are free from all concerns about family, health, career, and financial. The mindset for happiness is determined by two factors for me, personally. First is you know how to make decisions, and secondly is the teamwork. For myself and perhaps for many out there who are watching the TEDx show, Happiness start from home. When you, your success is celebrated and shared among your family members or your loved ones, the joy of achievement completes the happiness. As for achievement, when I was first nominated as the Ratu Inspirasi, followed by Icon of Malaysia and Sabah Women's Award in 2017 by the Malaysian government, is a token of appreciation and recognition from our country, from the Royal Malaysian Air Force, family members and friends. Now, being a military personnel, we have to make decisions at all times. This achievement do not come single-handedly, but needs collective decision-making, collective decision process with our loved ones throughout the journey. It is their never-ending support, encouragement and prayers which gave me the spiritual strength with or without realization. The same decision made when I first decided to quit my law degree and pursue my dream, which my dad opposed to as an Air Force pilot and my mom eventually convinced him and talk him out of it. A collective decision making is in the way. We must stand firm with the decision made and achieve happiness at the end of the journey with the passions that you have earlier, which I choose to become an Air Force pilot, being a warrior, serving my country, and I'm grateful and happy for that decision we made collectively as a family. How we did things as a family in decision making is very important. When I did my master in military and defense study in Australia, we did a collective planning as part of the progression with my family. Previously with my parents when we decide one to join the Air Force and now with my partner or the other half to pursue my career further on. My husband needed to take a pause from his career in support of the master program. Again, I personally think 
there is a huge happiness along the process. The mind tells this can be exemplary to others to transform from A's from a flying job into grades, getting a master. Thus, the mindset for happiness is determined through decision making. Now, talking about teamwork, how do I see happiness in a tough training? Happiness can be achieved when you have family or a team with you. And Air Force is a team organization. In our organization, it's like a fuel to the engine to keep it going. And in an air combat environment, we have many roles and functions to achieve a single mission or many missions maybe. And you are never alone. When we do the impossible more effectively, is in a team. Even though we fly the MiG-29 alone, but we never do things alone and we never leave anyone behind. We collaborate as a team to complete a mission. We need to help each other to generate better tactics, to come up with sound strategy, not only training hard, but doing it smartly and collectively as a team. Selflessness in teaching and sharing experiences will bring the best out of a team. We never fail as a team. We just learn to come back stronger and happiness will follow in the process. Well, to summarize that I have shared, I wish that we can achieve anything if we have set our mind to it. In short, mind over success and happiness allow me to share with you again success is a byproduct determination and discipline on the other side whereas happiness is achieved through decision making and teamwork so when you jive together the mind governs both success and happiness and balance between them and when it is set right magic happens so firstly be determined with your decision never give up easily even though things might get tough secondly maintain the discipline thirdly have a collective decision making and lastly work as a collaborative team constantly constantly as a team. So the formula is 3T, three, 3D three three and 1T, which cover determination, discipline, decision making and teamwork. I really hope that I have shared through this TED talk will benefit your future undertakings and probably throughout the journey of your life, regardless of whichever phase you are in, all the best and remember it's all in your mind it's all in your mind thank you roger and out